Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to direct your attention to the middle of the field. We have a special guest tonight that's going to toss our coin for the opening coin cock. It is uh, Michael Stiles' mother, Misty, who is just home from Afghanistan. And I'd like you to uh, stand with me and give her a hand. This is a surprise to Michael. and all the people that serve our country overseas. Let's give one more round of applause. I think the kids miss them the most. <laughs> Thank you. 
a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes. Severely injured fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future. Spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity. Something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own, or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes, but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you'll accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. Well, thinking he was on deck to take to the mat, a Greenville County High School wrestler was in for quite the surprise. That's right. He had no idea yeah. that his seaman brother was home for a very short trip, and their emotional reunion was really something else. As the Woodmont High School wrestling tournament gets underway. I was about to have a match. I thought I was going to hit super rest. At first, I just thought he was wanting me to work tables or something. Wrestler Jesse Royal and his brother Taylor made their way to the front. I didn't know until he, like, until I saw him. I didn't I had no idea. It wasn't until these two turned around that they realized the oldest of their trio, Russell, was home. I was shocked. I was like, I had no idea. I thought he was still in Japan. After a few days in Virginia, Russell and his parents arranged the surprise homecoming. Eight, almost nine months since I've seen him. You know, I used to be a wrestler myself, and you know, I was, you know, they. I heard his tournament was today, so that's pretty much what I wanted to do. It's been a long time since I've seen him, so I'm pretty happy that he's here to support me. And while a hug may not be your standard wrestling move, in this case, tears of joy are welcome. It's not every day I get to see, see him and give my family a big hug these days. So it's like it's, it's a, you know, very, basically it's like something new to me. And I, it's very touching to be able to have my family in my arms again. The younger Royals say their time apart from Russell is hard, but this unexpected reunion couldn't have been better. Oh, it's pretty cool. I feel kind of special. It's a little tough being away from any kind of family or anything like that. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, really good to be home.
Now, Jesse and Taylor only have a brief visit with their big brother home. Seaman Royal is set to head back to Japan early next week. Okay, she's going to get them. They're going to come around the corner. And we're waiting. <laughs> I'm sorry if the camera is shaking. Brian, I can't see. You got to back up. There you go. Yeah, wait.